We all know the scene in Top Gun where they fly upside down over the ridge line. We're going to find the exact location of that scene and we're going to fly it in Google Earth. All right, now hit your target and come home. Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Geolocate. I'm Ben and this is round two. So settle in, get your maps ready and let's get started. First, like any good bit of research, we're going to start with Google and we're going to plug in some search terms. I've added mountains in there to make sure that we find something. We can see that there's a few different results. Let's have a look at this one. It even credits a Twitter user. Looks like we have a lot of locations in here. This article thinks it might be Washington's Cascade Mountains. So let's check out that place on Google Earth. That looks to be a pretty big area. Let's go a little bit deeper. You can see a lot of these articles are kind of celebrity or media articles. This one refers to the older version of Top Gun. We've also got some other ones like, for example, Far Out Magazine. What do they look at? They give some locations, but not really precise. I want to get more exact. By looking at this one, NW Hikers, it looks like these people on this forum are pretty exact as to where some of these locations have been filmed. One person thinks that it might be around Ten Peak Mountain. Here's the location of Ten Peak Mountain. Let's go to our scene in Top Gun and see if we can match it. We can see that they fly over and this is where they turn over at that point. And we can see the other side of it here as well. There's a part of the scene where we can also see from the mountain how it looks like when the jets go through. Notice that if we have a look at Ten Peak Mountain, the ridge lines aren't really exact. This is a problem with Google Earth, is that it rounds a lot of edges, whereas this in real life would appear quite jagged. So let's have a look around and see if we can find a little match point as to where those might have come through. My thoughts, and similar to what's shared in the forum, is that it's this location right here. So let's have a look at that location in comparison to the video footage. In the video, we can see that there's little peaks coming out. Specifically two little peaks like this one, and then another on this right side. One way we can actually try to find those is by looking at the shadows here. Notice that we've got this peak with a slow rise. There seems to be one here. And then a sharp increase. It goes down and then a little knob. On this side, we've actually got something a little bit different. It's a rise. It could be that one right there. We can also go for a historical view and maybe see what the top of this mountain range looks like when the shadows are pointing a different way. See the peaks are the same back in 2017. What we can also do is maybe have a look at how this scene might look like when they're flying upside down. They tilt and we can see the little peaks here. Let's take a screenshot of this video and for visual help, we can actually flip this. This is a view that they should have. We can see this hook up here, might be similar to that one. We can see that there's a mountain range over here coming up. We can see this one over here. We have this range right here with sort of knobs. We can see that those shadows have left something similar behind like that. So we can be pretty sure that they've flown over this direction. So now that we know where the location is, let's fly this same place on Google Earth. To fly something on Google Earth, we can simply go enter flight simulator from the tool section above in Google Earth. We can choose between an F-16 or an SR-22. So I'm gonna use the F-16, also referred to as the Viper. We can actually take off from a specific airport if we wanted to. I'm gonna take off at the current view. Okay, so here we are, Ten Peak Mountain, F-16. We're gonna go straight for the mountain. I think I'm just gonna start off by going upside down, since it seems to be the easiest way possible to get a decent climb on this. Uh, so I should be able to climb quite over the ridge, not that well, but yeah, we did it. And then back over and down the valley. If you wanna have a look at this location as well, the coordinates are in the description below as well as a link to the Google Maps pin. 
In order to enter the flight simulator, you'll have to enter this into Google Earth Pro, which is the downloadable version. But enjoy, and I hope you are able to also replicate the flying through the ridgeline.